Hello, Alexey. I'm glad to see you. Hello, Victoria. I'm glad to see you too. How are you today? Are you in good mood? Uh, yes, I'm in a good mood. And uh, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. You know, I always feel good when the weather is beautiful outside. Do you feel the same? Uh, yes, uh, me too. Uh, but also, I like when it rains in autumn. Oh, sounds interesting. By the way, what weather do you have now? What's the weather like? Is it warm? Is it cold? Uh, now the weather is warm. I think uh, it's about uh, 20 degrees now, but it's cloudy. Oh, you're lucky. What other words can we use to describe the weather? Uh, we can use warm, uh, cold, uh, hot. Also, we can say it rains or the sun is shining or it's cloudy or it's windy. Oh, good. But in the sentence about the sun, you should say the sun shines. Uh -huh. Here we have a verb, so you don't need is. Can you repeat it, please? Uh, the sun shines. Okay, great. Alexey, please, can you open your working file and look at exercise one? Uh, yes. What can you see in these pictures? I see different types of weather. Which weather is good? Uh, when it's hot and when the sun shines. Yes. And which weather is bad? Uh, when it's uh, cold, uh, when it rains uh, or when it's windy. Oh, good job. You've mentioned several words, simple words describing the weather. Now I'll give you some more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at picture two. Here the weather is too hot. In English it'll be boiling. Boiling. Yes, boiling means очень жарко. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, what weather can you see in picture three? Uh, it's uh, foggy. Yes, you're right. In other words, it can be misty. Misty. Misty means tumanna. Mm -hmm. Okay. In picture four, the weather is very cold. It's five degrees below zero, so it's freezing. Freezing. Yeah. Can you get the meaning? Uh, Morozna. Yes. Perfect. What can you see in picture six? Uh, in picture six, I see a huge cloud. Yes. Wonderful. So it's going to rain. And in English, we can use words dull or nasty. Dull and nasty. Yeah. Dull means pasmurna, nasty, ninasna. Mm -hmm. And in picture 10, the weather is not warm, not cold, so it's cool. Cool. Cool means prachladna. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Alexey, now I suggest playing a game. I'll give you a month and you'll describe in the weather. And then we'll play it vice versa. Okay? Okay, let's try. So you'll be the first. For you, uh, it's October. October. Mm, it's uh, cool and uh, dull. Uh, it uh, can rain sometimes, uh, but generally it's warm. Great. Now it's your turn. Uh, July. Okay, so in July the weather is very hot. The sun so, Alexey, we've discussed today's weather. And what was the weather like yesterday? Was it cold? Was it warm? Yesterday the weather was warm too. Okay, good. Когда я задала этот вопрос, я хотела узнать о том, какая погода была вчера. Для того, чтобы описать события или явления в прошлом в английском языке, нам понадобится прошедшее время. Самым распространенным и простым прошедшим временем является время past simple. Past simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Мы используем это время, когда хотим рассказать о том, что случилось вчера, два дня назад, прошлой осенью, в прошлом году и так далее. Mm -hmm. Вот в моем вопросе What was the weather like yesterday? И прозвучало именно это время. Выражено оно в слове was. Это форма уже известного вам глагола to be. Mm -hmm. В past simple у этого глагола две формы. Was и were. Mm -hmm. Первая необходима для единственного числа, вторая для множественного. Например, я был дома вчера. I was at home yesterday. Mm -hmm. Или мы были заняты вечером. We were busy in the evening. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the sentences, please? I was at home yesterday. Uh, we were busy in the evening. Okay, great. Давайте потренируемся. Как вы скажете, я был в Париже в прошлом году. I was uh, in Paris last year. Good. Они были на пляже на выходных. Uh, they were at the beach at the weekend. Моя жена была уставшей после поездки. 
my wife was tired after the journey. Окей, okay, excellent. Вы знаете, что мы глагол to be используем в тех случаях, когда в предложении у нас нет глагола с действием или смыслом. Mm -hmm. А действия передают, например, такие глаголы, как учиться, работать, бегать, э, мыть и так далее. Как работать со временем под символ, когда у нас в предложении есть какой-либо из этих глаголов действия? Глаголы действия в английском языке бывают правильными и неправильными. Правильные образуют свою форму по правилам, а неправильные без правил, и поэтому нам приходится запоминать их формы. Во времени past simple к правильным глаголам мы добавляем окончание ed. Например, work, were, worked, study, studied, clean, cleaned. You can find other examples of regular verbs in exercise 15 in your working file. Uh -huh, I see. Okay, now let's practice. Count. Uh, counted. Look. Looked. Finish. Finished. Open. Opened. Travel. Traveled. Okay, good job. And now sentences. Мне понравилась твоя работа. I liked your job. Я учился в прошлом году. I studied last year. Она гуляла в парке. Uh, she walked in the park. Oh, excellent. You've got the point. Okay, Lexi, we've done a good okay, job. Okay. And now I'll give you your homework for the next lesson. Your homework will be exercise 7 on page 16 and 17. Okay. Okay? okay. So, see you next time. Have a good day. Thank you very much, Victoria, for the lesson. And uh, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.